It has launched quests around the world, inspired legends, and captivated our imagination. Throughout the course of human history, gold has been sought, mined, and treasured. It has been worn for beauty and traded as money. In some ancient civilizations, it was the ultimate symbol of glory and greatness, while in others, gold was used to describe the only glorious kingdom, the kingdom of heaven. Today, we will explore the history of the king of metals and its special place in the civilization of the past. Gold is dispersed widely throughout the geologic world. It occurs as little nuggets of shiny yellow, which can be easily spotted at the bottom of a river. And so, many different groups in many different places have discovered gold, and nearly everyone who found it was impressed with it. Entire civilizations quickly took a shine to gold. Its brilliance, natural beauty, and luster and its great malleability and resistance to tarnish made it a favorite metal to work with. When we think about the history of technology, we usually think of the development of iron and copper as the greatest contributions to our technological advancement. But actually, it was gold that came first. It occurs in a virtually pure and workable state, whereas most other metals tend to be found in ore bodies that must first be separated. Gold's early uses were no doubt ornamental. It was prized for its brilliance and permanence. It neither corrodes nor tarnishes. And because of its everlasting shine, gold was linked to deities in early civilizations. Kings and queens also valued this precious metal. Perhaps they envisioned themselves as close to the gods, or they desired their reign to be shining and long-lasting, and so in many different cultures gold became the symbol of royalty. Gold, beauty, and power have always come hand in hand gold in ancient times was made into shrines and idols such as the golden calf. Plates, cups, vases and vessels of all kinds and of course jewelry for personal adornment. An example can be drawn from the treasures of Troy that date all the way back to 2450 to 2600 BCE. From the Gold of Troy treasure hoard excavated in Turkey a range of golden treasures were found. Such pieces ranged from fine delicate jewelry to a gold gravy boat that weighed a full pound. Gold has always been considered precious and has always held a value even when it was not yet used as currency. This is shown through the tireless efforts to obtain it. Prospecting for gold is a worldwide effort dating back thousands of years even before it appeared as currency around 700 BCE. Those who participated in the quest for gold include the Phoenicians, Egyptians, Indians, Hittites, Chinese, among many others. And this was when gold had no value as money. It was simply a desired commodity in and of itself. But how did gold come to be a commodity, a measurable unit of value? Around 700 BCE, the first gold coins were made by Lydian merchants. The standardized unit of value, the electrum, was simply a stamped lump made up of a mixture of 63% gold and 27% silver. Eventually, other civilizations caught on to its monetary value. Gold's beauty, scarcity and unique density, and especially the ease with which it could be melted made it a natural trading medium. 
gold in standardized coins soon replaced barter arrangements and facilitated trade. By the year 550 BCE, the Greeks were mining for gold. Plato and Aristotle wrote about gold and came up with theories of its origin. One hypothesis was that gold originates from water. It was a logical assumption because gold was found in streams and it was thought that gold was a dense combination of water and sunlight. Since the procuring of gold required a lot of labor, alchemists tried to come up with ways of transforming base metals